In this video, we are going to uh, look at how we can check the amount of traffic that is coming to our website. Uh, I am going to take you through um, a process of checking for this traffic uh, using one of my other sites because be, uh, because this uh, particular website that we're developing, the WordPress website is, is uh, new, so there is there are no uh, too much information to show regarding the number of visits that. Uh, um, that we have coming in into the site but um, I'm going to show you the the way we used to do it then uh, in the next video we're going to look at how you can do it with WordPress so um, in the beginning of this video I'll show you how to log into the cPanel by going to the your website uh, for slash cPanel so your website.com for slash cPanel then you get to the cPanel uh, which is the control panel area like this so what you want to look for is what you want to look for where it says logs and you can check uh, the webalizer there are so many ones you can use there's another one called aw stats which is okay as well if you click on that and uh, you click on view uh, it will take you to this page where you can say that uh, in this month of November, we have 100 and, uh, 1,360 unique visitors, and we have 2,000 uh, uh, visits. Uh, pages that has been served is uh, 18,000. It's don't worry too much about it. It's it just means that each um, element that is requested from your website is an is a hit. So, for example, if somebody view an image, that's one hit. So. As you can see, in uh, October we had uh, 130. Uh, no, um, number of visits was 4,000. So as you can see, that it's actually increasing, except in May, where it was down. And the reason was because I was transitioning the website then. So as you can see, it's picking up. So that means the visits to the website. That means it's getting more popular in the search engine. So and this one breaks it down to the number of days. Uh, today is currently the 16th of November and as you can see the number of uh, pages that is being viewed is kind of average and uh, weekends we do get like um, low uh, numbers of people coming to the site so um, this is quite useful but I prefer the other one let me show you which is called the if we go back which is called the Webalizer if you click on the Webalizer click on view and uh, <clears throat> you can actually compare uh, the two statistics and see if they match so right now in November this one see we have uh, the monthly visit for we have 2730 for this month that's what it says 2730 so what does this one say for the month 2101 so as you can see uh, 600 off I think um, this one reported for October 5,729 or does this uh, what did this report for October uh, 4,200 so as you can 4,400 they kind of not uh, accurate entirely but at least you can uh, uh, quickly view so if we click on the November <coughs> you can break it down into months so you can see all the total visits and pages and its power and uh, its by response code, daily usage for November, then daily statistics for November, the number of the two sta the things I'm interested in actually the visits, just the visits and um, the pages I'm not really and the files doesn't really bother me just how many visits am I getting per day or per month. That's I uh, just as as long as I see that I mean I haven't done much uh, SEO work on this site because most of the uh, videos are on YouTube so I get most of the refer um, referrals from YouTube so when people watch the video on YouTube they end up on my site um, I'm not I mean it's a free video website so I'm not really selling anything on there so um, it's just for free for everyone uh, let's see what else do I want to show you top entry pages uh, to total exit page you can see where people are leaving your website um, the audit total sites I think these are the uh, I'm not sure is that the referrals I'm um, not sure entirely but um, 
yeah these are the referrals okay this is where you're getting most of they said the direct request a lot of people are actually coming to the website through without having to come through any link direct request which is good so that means people know actually know your domain name and actually coming through and this is the, <clears throat> uh, I want to see and also another important thing is the keyword that people are using to get into you can see that most of the people coming from uh, US and uh, is unresolved it's 49 percent India a lot of people from India United Kingdom is only one percent um, total countries I have a lot of people from India I have no idea where why but um, I teach uh, ASP.net so maybe people are interested in ASP.net in India because a lot of people actually come from India and even now I saw a lot of people coming from Saudi 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 do I have any Saudi here no right so um, I was I was thinking I will be able to find some of the keywords that people okay there you go these are the search string that people are typing to find the website uh, ASP.net video tutorials step-by-step uh, ASP.net -step, tutorial ASP step-by-step and uh, they're actually coming in through s different search engine as you can see I have some of the YouTube and Google people are using Google to find me but uh, this is not the best way to view your statistics but it's quite okay uh, in the next video we're going to be looking at a better way to use the to view the statistics on your website that is installing the um, Google Analytics. So we're going to configure the Google Analy uh, Analytics in the next video. Thank you.